Hello and welcome to another Polani video. So today I'm going to be talking about the UI changes that I made going from all the way back from Vimperator to Pentadacly. Is it pronounced like that? Penta? I'll just call it Penta. And to Tridacly, uh, which is the new add-on for Firefox. I'll just call it Try. Um, so if you don't know what these are, these are uh, browser add-ons for basically Firefox and the forks of Firefox, uh, which allow you to control them with your keyboard only, so you don't have to use your mouse at all. So basically, a uh, quick history, uh, Vimperator was the first one, right? So it all start started with uh, Vimperator, um, then came Penta. Now Penta was, um, it was a fork of, far of uh, Vimperator, and it added a few more um, a few more things to Vimperator, so uh, it was more expansive. Uh, it had more options, and it fixed a few annoyances uh, that Vimperator had and a few qu uh, quirks. Mozilla decided to discontinue support for uh, legacy add-ons like Vimperator and Penta. Uh, so Vimperator hasn't been uh, in development for a long time and uh, Penta lives on on Firefox forks like um, Pale Moon, which I have on the screen right now. So this is Pale Moon with Penta. Um, and the new add-on uh, Try, uh, Tridacly or however you pronounce it, um, it's in, as far as I know, it's still in heavy development. So it's going to be basically replacing Vimperator and uh, Penta uh, for Firefox. In the future, I'm going to be covering um, you know, how to install um, Penta on um, Pale Moon. So I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this and how to possibly install uh, Tridacly on uh, Firefox. So how to go from this to something like this okay but in this video i'll be focusing on the ui changes that i made personally to uh, to my browser and my vm as well um, over the over the years so first off we'll start with uh, vimperator so i have a screenshot so this is actually a screenshot uh, of vimperator uh, in, from uh, one of my older videos um, so as you can tell, um, I have my window manager status bar at the top and I have my um, title bar in the dark blue color. And beneath that we have the <clears throat> tab bar, since again this is a this is a screenshot. Also being Vimperator, um, at the very bottom it stated uh, the URL, so at the bottom right. And that was uh, that was pretty much how I had it set up. Now, so that was Vimperator. Um, you no longer have your title bar, right? So before we had our title bar at the very top, um, but that's related to the, of course, the window manager, not the browser itself, but still. Uh, so there was the title bar. Um, I removed that. So now it's um, black uh, status bar at the top from the window manager, uh, black uh, title bar and the colors in the web pages are inverted. So regarding the tabs, um, it's again, white lettering on a light gray background. And I had this uh, white silhouette around it, uh, kind of uh, showing the um, which tab is uh, in focus. So if I open up a, another tab, uh, the status bar at the bottom, unlike Vimperator, it has the, actually the URL at the bottom left. Um, and not at the bottom right. On the bottom right, it states the positioning of the uh, web page where you're at uh, while currently browsing the page. Here I have it in Firefox with uh, Tridacly. Now, as you can see, a few a few differences. Let me just open up a duplicate tab. Um, so changing from the Penta to Tridacly, um, a few things. Um, the background tab is now, as you can tell, I changed it. So 
it's um, now completely black white letters on a black background um, it's no longer like this um, that you can tell the distinction between the you know the um, status bar the tab bar and the web page now it's just a seamless flow it's just uh, lettering on it I also narrowed the the tabs a lot more basically as much as you can so now it only shows the fab icon from the side um, so as uh, tall as the fab icon is that's how tall the tabs are now you can uh, shrink the tabs in Firefox you can use the compact layout right And I also narrowed the width of the tabs as well. Um, also, I went back to the original um, Vampirator style with um, removing the close tab button. So I had a close tab button on my Penta. And here I decided to remove it again. So of course I removed that. I removed the new tab um, new tab button. As I said, the, the act tab is in light gray um, and has um, it, it shows a nice uh, contrast compared to with the the other tabs um, in the background so you can easily uh, distinguish which one is uh, in focus and which one is not okay so let me just go ahead and type something here let's just type a web page okay so as you can tell uh, this will bring up the scroll bar on the right and this is like the this is pulled from the uh, window manager um, on Penta so it's the default one from the window manager and on the Tridacly, it's um, I changed it up so now it's a very narrow dark red um, scroll bar. So it looks a lot more modern, a lot more clean than the, than before. Um, yeah, so this obviously shows up on all web pages where you have the scroll bar, vertical sc scroll bar or a horizontal scroll bar. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Uh, like that web page content being rendered is um, this far from the tab bar and on Firefox as you can tell it's literally right pretty much um, right next to it right so what I did is was I um, so every web page rendered in uh, Firefox with uh, try is getting a few rows of pixels cut off from the top because usually in most websites, uh, these few rows don't render anything important anyway. Um, and it just loads up, uh, or pushes up the more important content to the top of the page. Um, so I did that. I also changed the font um, brightness on the links. So as you can see, the uh, brightness on the links is a lot more uh, light green. Now on try, uh, I think um, the status bar still hasn't been uh, implemented at the bottom. It obviously says the mode that we're in uh, at the bottom right um, in reference to Vi or Vim. So I can uh, select one and I can select the other. So there we go. Um, Again, the web page is being rendered, as you can see, um, or pushed to the top more. Let me just uh, open up um, a link. Okay, so another thing that I changed. Um, so if I select the text uh, on Penta, as you can see, again, it's the white lettering on a light purple background, which isn't quite good. I mean, it doesn't provide the quite a good contrast. Now on here, I changed it up. So now it's uh, white letters with a uh, black silhouette around it on a dark purple background. So it gives a nice, uh, nice uh, consistency. And another thing that you'll notice is uh, when I do this, so when I move out of focus from the current window that I'm at, um, in Penta, this will turn everything gray, the selected text, and now it, it, it doesn't lose uh, focus. It'll stay exactly the same visually. So that's another thing that I changed as well. 
so yeah in the, in the future videos I'll be showing how to get um, how to install Penta and try and uh, how to set it up so uh, okay so that about uh, that about covers it thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time